Well, I got into gaming when I was three years old and my uncle has a, not a gaming bar, but back then it was just a bar with computers and I, start, I started playing Quake 2 and since then I, I just keep playing video games. So the person that came into gaming was actually my mom's husband, second husband um, that she's had, or well, the last one as well. Um, so my brother's father, uh, Morten, who uh, worked at IT for a big firm in Noa Nordisk in Denmark. And he always had computers at home, we played Warcraft 3, and that was kind of my introduction into video games. Hot dogs, obviously. I'm a cat guy. I have a dog, so I think it would be disrespectful to him to answer hot dogs. The dogs are hot dogs. Dogs. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> By far. Dogs are hot dogs? Uh, let's go with dogs, shall we? It's the Montreal win, or the comeback win in Montreal. It has to be the best thing ever. It felt so good. I, I guess it would be winning in invitationals. I mean, there's no feeling that can like describe how, how you feel when you go up in the biggest tournament and you turn around a 0-2 and win it with 3-2. Uh, the biggest team on the team has to be Fabian or Goga, but uh, let's go with Fabian. Hmm, I think that would be Pengu. I, I have to say it's Goga. The biggest diva? Mm, I don't know. Probably me or Jonas. Uh, I'd say Fabian. I just basically don't think about that and just play the game and have fun. Um, keeping up with pressure and consistent play as a pro player is something that I think a lot of people struggle with early in their career. I think we have the, uh, the benefit now that it's been almost three years for us, which means that we have the experience going in that we know that we can trust each other and ourselves to do the best job. Well, I try to distance myself from the fact that we are known to be as the best team in the world. Uh, we are just human. We are just everybody. We are just like everybody else playing this game. We we are just good what we do, but we are still human. We make mistakes, and sometimes it happens that we are not the best team anymore. We're all really, really dramatic, and we're all really, really. Uh... Let's go with we're idiots. <laughs> That's the easy way to put it. I think we don't take ourselves too seriously. We we can be ironical guys and joke about ourselves and show our weaknesses. I don't really know if we have anything in common. I don't think we do. Like we're all very different people and we come from different backgrounds and we have different ambitions. The ways that I lift is when I pick up grocery bags to my apartment, that's about it. You'd have to ask Goga that, because Goga's the numbers guy. I, he just tells me what to do, and I just follow Lee. Well, my record is 150 kilos with six reps. I can lift my own ass. Probably Ash still always has been, because just because the gun, the operator, the speed, and the gadget is very simple. And you have flashbangs pretty much, so perfect entry operator. Personally, it's Sofia for me, because Sofia has a good balanced gun, balanced movement speeds, uh, the gadget is useful, maybe a little bit overpowered, but it doesn't change the actual gameplay too much, even that she has a lot of utility. Currently, I really don't have favorite operators. I think it's more about match matching them up with each other to make a better combination of them. So for me, I don't know if I have really a favorite one. I mean, Lion is great. If I had to move one map from the game, it would probably currently professional play be Oregon. 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 It has to be Oregon. Probably would remove Oregon because it's very linear and like you literally set up step one, step two, step three, and then you win the map. It doesn't really rely on anything kind of like adaptivity or any kind of team play. It just straight up is one, two, three, and you win. Yeah, I mean, after I retire, I, I'd really love to stay in esports somehow, like in Siege, especially like maybe an analyst or just a streamer would be like my ideal thing to do. I think I'd love to stay in esports, either as a streamer, commentator, analyst, manager, coach, etc. Um, that's the dream scenario, but obviously at some point, even after that career as, as well, I would have to go and get a, a quote unquote real job and pursue something uh, more real life based. If I would have been something else, uh, I would have been a teacher. I actually was studying to be a teacher when I quit to go a full time pro player. And I would be teaching history and civics and politics pretty much.
So I share room with Fabian almost every tournament and that is probably the worst thing you could do, really. Um, I'm used to it, you know, uh, I know what to expect now, but it took a couple of, you know, trials and errors, so to speak, to get there. Sharing a room with Pengu is... Oh, <laughs> there are things that shouldn't be said on camera that he does, and he is the worst roommate I've ever had. So far, it's always been Jonas. I guess just because we're Finnish. Well, obviously I've shared that room with Finnish guys because we are Finnish. I share room with Jas because maybe I, I think he's the most quiet guy. So when we go to sleep, there's he doesn't snow, there's no noise. So I'm happy with that. <laughs>